Hello guys! Welcome to another new video. So today I thought I would share my first impression thoughts on uh, two Patrick Tab products. Pro products. Products. So he has made... Obviously I just realized while doing this video that he has a lot of makeup products. I just saw two of them and I was like, I want to try. So I bought a lip cream and I bought a blush that I'm wearing here and on my eye. And I wanted to try it out and see if I like it or not and you know if it's worth the price and and yeah just my thoughts on it like what do I think and I thought I would take you guys with me and share my thoughts my first impression thoughts which means I might change my opinions but uh, but this is so far what I think about the products so if you guys want to know like how I got this look and also like what I think about the blush and the makeup product and oh, no, sorry <laughs> the blush and um, the lip uh, the lip cream, then keep on watching. I was kissing you with my eyes open, but you said you said keep them closed and be in the moment. So I did, I did, did my best to make you feel wanted. But what about what I want? What about what I want? And what I wanted was to crash with my dumb friends on the bought the whole thing like but yeah so I haven't opened it I thought I would open it with you guys and then finish off my makeup look with you guys it's just I saw the Instagram video you posted like on the lip product and it was just so satisfying to watch that video and I was like I want that <laughs> I want that lipstick so it's a lip cream and uh, we're gonna try out the blush first and I, I decided to Take, I think it's the darkest, one of the darkest shades, I'm not sure. She's seductive. Yeah, I love rose gold, so the design and the packaging, everything is cool. I'm more excited for the product itself, but but yeah, it looks good. The packaging looks amazing. Ooh, it's heavy. Okay. Oh, now it's it has my fingerprint. You can see, but it's really pretty. It's, it's rose gold. It has a mirror. Oh, this, this is perfect for when I do my makeup. So it looks like this. I should probably take a picture of this before it's too late. <sighs> well, you know, when it's all new, you don't want to... Okay. It's amazing, the packaging and the whole thing, like, it's really beautiful. And, and it's... When it's heavy, it's, it feels like a, more of a quality product. So it's very nice. Okay, let me try. I'm excited for this one. Can you see that? I mean, I can see it. I don't know if you can see. I'll add some more, but usually I wouldn't add more than this, actually. I love... It feels like it's hard to like get off. Like, I don't feel like I get anything. The color is... It's matte. And it's nice. I love they have a mirror. He has a mirror. Like, it's like a, a perfect thing to walk around with, you know? Um, okay, maybe I have too so much. Okay. 
okay I applied a little too extra than what I usually would but I actually think it looks good it looks like brighter on my face than, than on, on here but it's a pretty color but it's very like subtle like it's hard to like get off like yeah do you swatch blushes I don't think so yeah but it's brighter than what you think like it looks dark but it, I feel like it's brighter but if I think it's something definitely I would wear it's pretty I like it let me try it on my eyes I know it's not an eyeshadow so I'm not gonna like judge it for anything on my eyes but I just wanted to it's very subtle it's hard to like get on your But you know, but it's a good thing too as well, like there is like almost no fallout that it's literally just pressed in really hard on this one. So I, I kind of like that. It just feels like when you when you add it, it just feels like nothing is coming on the brush. But when then when you apply it, you actually get something on the brush. It's, it's, it's just doesn't look like that. I could definitely see myself wearing this as a, as an eyeshadow as well. Yeah, I like it, guys. I mean, I wish it was a little bit more darker because uh, of my skin tone, but 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 it's not something I can't wear. It just looks darker than what it what it is. It feels like, but it's really good. I love that it's matte. It has no glitter in it, and it's very subtle. It sets really good. You can really control how much you want with this one. Like, if you like put it on it and put it on it, it's not gonna be too much. It's really, yeah. You can really control it. You can't apply too too much with this one because it's so subtle. So you can really control it. Now I added more than usual on purpose um, of this video. So it's also pretty as an eyeshadow. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Like I've been so excited for this one. It looks like this. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, it matches my nail polish. I mean, yeah, it looks amazing. I don't know if I should add some lip liner. I love the rose gold theme though. It's really done very well with um, with the packaging and product like look and everything. I love it. In the silky lip cream, I took she's confident. They are so pretty. So let's talk about the applicator. It's nice. It's it has this. <laughs> and I think it's yeah. Ooh, it is lighter than what I thought. Okay, we need a lip liner though. So the applicator is nice. The color is not really my color. But if um, if I had a lip liner, it would be way better. I actually thought it was darker. Mm -hmm. It smells good. It smells like mint. It smells like mint. I mean, it's not bad, but it's very nude compared to like... Again, uh, the color looks um, brighter when I apply it. I don't know if it's because of my skin tone. Uh, let me add a lip liner for this one. It's very creamy, but it, it is called creamy, so it makes sense. So it's definitely a shade where I li need lip liner. <laughs> How can we fix this? Oh, I should have applied lip liner before I applied this. Ooh. So a lip liner definitely needed for the shade because of my, my skin complexion. So one thing I've noticed with both is that the colors look darker yeah, it really does look darker than, than when I apply it, which is weird. I don't like my lips though. Okay, then maybe I should just remove it and try again. You know, that's what we're gonna do. So it looks like this. It's not bad at all. It's just I, um, I misjudged the shades a lot. <laughs> okay, it's not 100% removed, but it's kind of removed. I actually like it like this as well. Here, this is the one I was looking for. Okay, so the lip liner is added. Let's see if that helps. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm gonna do. 
that is the method. Because it's too bright and it's not really my thing. That we can work with. It kind of looks the same, doesn't it? Maybe this lining will be better. It's not bad at all. I forgot to apply mascara. Let me just quickly apply mascara. I think I wanted a more darker color. Uh, or what I was expecting was more darker than what I ordered. But it's definitely one I could like use. There is no doubt about that. It's just not the shade I was expecting. The blush is amazing. And I love that it's matte. I got some mascara on my eyes, I'll fix it later. It's amazing, the color is amazing, but it's not, it just didn't, it wasn't really what I expected. I need to wash my hands, sorry. Cool, I'm back. Despite the color, I mean, I love the color, it's just, the thing is, that the color just looks darker than, both of them look darker than when I applied, but I think it, it might be my skin complexion, that's the reason, and it's not the product to blame for at all, you know? The lipstick, Again, the packaging and everything is amazing, yeah, the design is amazing, I love rose gold. Again, beside the color, which I can't blame the brand for, honestly. It's a, a silky lip cream and it's definitely creamy and, and it feels... Do I have something? Definitely creamy and it definitely did, like when I applied like a thick layer, which I usually won't do, but when I applied like a thick layer, it really looked like... Like on close-up, it really looked like what he showed on his Instagram, like how it actually looked, it's very thick and and it's it's just very creamy and it's just so satisfying and I felt that satisfying thing as well when I was applying it. It's the only thing is the color is not really one I can wear just this one. I need a darker lip color and I need to like mix it properly to make it work. But it's the shade itself and again it, it just looks darker than what it is and I, maybe it's because of my skin tone. Consistency? Can you say that? Yeah. The consistency of the lip product is very satisfying. There are some of these lip creams that can be very dry. You have to apply it again and again. That's not the case with this one. Like, it's very thick and it's creamy and it like... really. And the applicator is uh, very... it's very good as well. It's... It, it has this tipping thing. So it's very easy to like apply it. And also it's like when you uh, add on your... what is it called? I don't know the word but I just learned it. Cupid's... Cupid's bow. Okay, so on your Cupid's bow, it's very easy to apply with this one. Of course, it's not 100% perfect, like you can like, then you need another applicator. But you get a lot of product, like in both of them, you get a lot of product. So I, I love, I love it, I love it. It's just the color, I wanted a darker one, I expected a darker one. But with that said, it's definitely not a, it's definitely a color I would use. It does have a nude effect on it. If I just apply the right lip pencil, I guess. I don't regret buying it. Price range, let's talk about the price range. I actually don't remember. Where's my phone? So 28 pounds for um, for the blush and 21 pounds, is it pounds or is it? Okay, wait, wait, wait. It's pounds, right? Yeah, I think it's pounds. 28 pounds, which means 240 crones for the, the blush and in a two. And 180 for the lip product, 180 crowns. crowns? 180 for a lip product. It's very normal, I mean, it's cool, it's fine. It's it's not uh, too expensive, it's not too, uh, um, too cheap either. It's like a middle thing. And I think it's fine. I think it's a normal price for a lip product. Like, almost. This one, it's at 240 crowns. As for a blush, I would say that that's a lot for a blush, My, but it also depends on how much you love blush, and I'm like, I mean, I think blush is okay, <laughs> but it's not like, you know, um, And I, but I think I would have felt that if it was darker, because I wanted a darker blush. For this quality, like, it settles. It doesn't seem like something that breaks really easily unless I'm like throwing it away and I'm not gonna do that. It has a mirror and I, I think like it's a very compact thing and I think for that, for that quality and for the mirror and for the amount you get, also with the amount of it, okay, the amount you get and how settled it is and it doesn't fall out, I think it's 240 is okay. 
would I, would I buy it again for 240 crowns? I don't think so. Um, I think there are a lot of other blushes that are way cheaper um, that, that does the same, if you get what I mean. So in that way, so it's not a bad thing, but you can just get, you can just get the same, just cheaper. But I do get the price because of the, the mirror. Like I know it's expensive to do all these fancy stuff. Um, so for the mirror and how compact it is, and you know, it, it doesn't have that plastic effect. I know that's gonna be expensive if you want something like that. So in that way, it's okay. But of course, at 240 for just a blush, yeah, mm, I don't know, 28 or yeah, which means 28 pounds. Um, so it's like. Mm, I don't regret it though because I love this is something I can use like the mirror is just something I can really use and it that so it's exactly what I need right now <laughs> so in that way I don't regret it but if I have a lot of other like mirrors and stuff maybe yeah, I don't know and it's just beautiful to look at I think that's why so I'm like I'm like yeah I mean it's 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 a lot for a blush but it yeah, but I like this one you know but but you can you can get definitely get the same or or better blushes for cheaper price. As for the lip product, another thing is the creaminess is really good, the quality is really good and it's very thick and it doesn't be, it's not getting dry so I think I think the price is totally fine for this one for the quality, for how it looks, for the, the, the quality of the packaging but also the quality of the lip product amazing. Uh, the only thing was the color I was like nah, what, what? but this is like this is like cool, totally fine. Uh, the blush it depends on how much you love blush blushes. I do love this. I do think this looks pretty. If you if we only talk about the blush itself, then um, you can probably find find something cheaper. If I can find some darker shades, I would definitely buy some more of these. If if there are darker shades than this one, I think um, I think I would love to have them. Let me just check actually. Oh, there's only four shades. She's independent, she's confident. Which one did I take? I took she's confident, right? It looked like she's confident is the most... is the darkest one. Okay, cool. So, I met Cold Beauty's website. And, um... You can see that she's confident is... seems like the darkest shade. So I kind of wish that... that there was something darker, but... She's independent, seems like a more brown color. And this one is more like red. -ish. Yeah, there's something with the shades, I can't really tell. Like, it's hard to understand which shade to choose. But yeah, I mean, I think she's independent is definitely one I would I would try out. Uh, but again, but I don't, yeah, it doesn't seem like, it's definitely brighter than she's confident. And I felt like she's confident is bright. So yeah. Let me check the blush. So I took... Oh, okay. I took the darkest. She's seductive. I took the darkest blush. I wish it was darker. Okay. So, I'm not 100%... Okay, that sucks. I'm not 100% satisfied with the shades. Hmm. Uh, let me go to his Instagram. He's such an amazing makeup artist. Okay, I should have done... I should have watched this video before I did. She's confident? Why, why doesn't... I think it's because of my skin tone. It, it just doesn't look like she's confident. is not the one I chose? Okay, okay guys, there's just something with the colors I don't get. This one is... is um, she's confident. So I needed to do this. I didn't do that properly. That's my bad. Is the color... The color just looks darker. Is it just me? Or am I just not applying it right? This and this doesn't, doesn't really look like that, but I think maybe it's, it is because of my skin tone. Anyhow, I wish I wish he had darker shades, then I would definitely buy them. Oh, he does sell lip liners as well. I should have bought the lip liner, I didn't know. Why didn't I see that? I'm so sorry guys, this is a fail. Oh, he has lip liners, lip crayons. Okay. Okay. She's bold. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Maybe. Okay, so if I took the lip liner, she's bold, I think I would have got that look. 
I think if I did buy She's Bold, the lip crayon, and then use She's Confident, which I have. Guys, there's something with the shade. I don't get it. It definitely it doesn't look like the shades it's showing here, I feel like. Why aren't there any brown skin toned girls here? Okay, here there is one. She's using She's Independent. So here on her, it does the, the blush does look brighter as well. And oh, she's using another blush. She's passionate. That's the blush. Okay, she does also have like a brighter lip color. Maybe it's because of my skin tone. This is a struggle, guys. Like, if they just have pictures of more of the brown girls wearing the product so I can evaluate a little bit better, that could be nice. Okay, whatever. That sucks, but oh, she's pretty. Okay, there is no doubt that I like the products. The color looks really good. I should have uh, bought the lip crayon. I kind of regret that. I actually didn't realize that. It just didn't. I don't know. I also, I don't know. So that 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 was kind of not cool, but uh, but I do think um, the products are good and it's good quality. As for the lip products, it's totally fine, uh, understandable. I wish there were more shades, but of course, if you just started, I'm not sure actually. But if you just started, then okay, you, st you of course you start with a few shades and then you expand it, so that uh, makes totally sense. What do I think? I think I think this is good. I think this is nice and it's definitely products that I can use. The lip cream is a thumbs up for me, 100%. The blush is also a thumbs up for me. Both is really good products and good quality. Blush wise, I think you can get something for a cheaper price with this almost same quality. But I, I do understand that the price compared to uh, that you get a mirror and it's pretty and it's heavy and it's the, the blush is settled so I do get the price So so it's fair. It's fair enough. But yeah guys I, I think uh, they were good products and I would love to buy the lip crayon and try it again It was it was fun to try out. I hope you guys like this video If you guys like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me feel free to subscribe as well and I will see you guys in another video Where did my I some samples? I forgot. I was almost gonna throw this out. Yeah. I think it's because of the blush. No, because it's a blush. Because. Should I add some more? Oh, where is it again? It's gone. This is the one. Please be the one. Oh, it's here. I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm saying. <laughs>